Welcome, collective. I'm back, y'all, with another reading. So today we're going to use the Shamanic Healing Oracle deck here. And we'll get some energy from here, and then we'll pull from the tarot. All right, so this is a general read. Whatever pops out, pops out. Um, with a spirit guide. All right, so give me a message for the collective, please. Give me a message for the collective. Oh, okay. All right, so we got letting go here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so there's something that needs to be let go of. It could be a perception, the way you perceive something, the way you're looking at something, the way you view something. Um, something needs to be let go of, okay? Whatever this was, it was a burden. Whatever it is, it's a burden, whatever it was. Um, could possibly be, it's a burden. Um, and I feel like spirit is wanting you, we got a sacred space here. Spirit is wanting you to go in the sacred space, meditate and allow things, allow things to release and let things go here. All right. So we also have joy grounding and we have new beginnings and Feminine energy. I like, I like, I like, I like. So, I feel like there is something that needs to be let go of. It definitely is a perception. The way you perceive something, okay? The way you perceive something, um, it no longer benefits you, okay? So let's grab some of this tarot because I want to see. I feel like there's a new beginning on the horizon for you. Something more happier, something that brings more joy, something more uplifting for you. Okay, Spirit is saying you got to be grounded, though. You got to be grounded, grounded, grounded. Y'all listen uh, to that song, Ari Lennox, Grounded. I love that song. This is the energy that this read is giving me. All right, so I want to see what needs to be let go of. Oh, yeah, there's some, some changes. Some changes coming your way. All right. I see... Some meditation going on uh, as well, guys. There's something that you're going back and forth about. Something that you're juggling. Something that you possibly are having kind of like a hard time making a decision on. I see you being very patient. You wanting to take your time. Um, I see a lot of waiting. I see some anxiety as well, too. Um, I feel like... There is some changes that need to be made, okay? Something that you need to um, think about. I feel like something could be temporary. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Tell me about this Knight of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles. And the Six of Wands. Five of Wands and the Two of Cups. Wow. Spirit is saying, some of y'all are young. This could be going towards, you know, someone young. I'm getting somebody young and vibrant and free. It has so much potential. Potential to be a star. Something, you got this star quality. Some of y'all are motivational speakers. Some of y'all are influ influencers. Oh, okay. Some of y'all um, have started a business um, and you're very, very good at what you do. You're something passionate. You're doing something that you're passionate about. 
but there's something that you may need to take a break from. Ooh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like you've been being real patient with, I think it's a person. Okay. It could be a Libra. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like you've been trying to get the truth out of someone. I feel like also somebody is super duper manipulative, tricky. A snake, especially with this seven of swords and this five of swords energy right here. Okay. Like this is really heavy, uh, manipulative energy, jealous, envious energy as well too. But somebody keeps coming back. It's like they keep coming in and then when they, they come in, they're coming in with a bunch of anxiety. They're bringing a bunch of baggage with them. They're bringing a bunch of, I'm getting like real hasty energy. Real hasty energy. Yes. Like this person is like, they don't have, um, they don't really got too much. We got the five of pentacles. Like their energy is lack. That's why they keep coming back because you have more, you have things to offer. They don't have anything to offer. They're not even giving you any attention, the deten attention that you deserve. These are issues in the connection, okay? Makes you feel like you have to fight for this connection. You could be a Leo or they could be a Leo. Um, but I see, like, you want something reciprocal. You want something to be reciprocated. Um, and I feel like you're starting to regret the decision. Um, some of y'all feel stuck, like you're stuck in this situation. Oh, we got the devil and the four of wands. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. This person could, like, live with you or you're married to this person or you've been together um, for a while. Um this could even be a family member. But see, you're trying to make plans on moving forward, taking action. Um, maybe you ask this person to leave. Maybe this is your plan. And this time I feel like you want them to stay gone. I feel like you've been patient long enough. Um, so the changes definitely need to be made. Why is the will here? Why is the will here? Spirit is confirming that. Queen of Wands. Look at this. Ten of Wands and a Six of Swords. Look, the change is that you need to drop this burden. Okay, this is this situation is a burden. It's really like you're weighing the weight all by yourself. Okay. You can find somebody better. Look at this. You can find somebody better, honey. You can find somebody 10 times better, okay? Um, look at this. Three of Wands and the Ace of Cups. This is waiting on a new cup of love, okay? Something that's more fun, something more enjoyable, something that is more exciting, thrilling. I feel like your intuition is telling you you don't see this coming from the situation that you're in now. Because maybe you feel like you got to force this person to do stuff. Some of y'all are definitely. You're ready for this, this energy here. Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Y'all might be single and mingling. Single and mingle, mingle. Singling, single and mingling. <laughs> Very soon. Like, some of y'all are like, yeah, you know what? Look at this. The Hierophant, the King of Wands. Could be a Taurus or a Fire Sign, Leo Sagittarius that enters your life. Um, Somebody is saying that they don't want to leave. Um, They're begging to give them more patience. Like, can they come back? Um, You got somebody that's going to be begging. They're going to be begging to come back. But the thing about it is, you could actually find somebody that's better. 
Okay, like I see two options already coming up in the near future. Yeah, I really do feel like this person is keeping you from being grounded because they're bringing in their negative energy. They're bringing in and making things imbalanced for you, okay? So, I feel like some of y'all already know this already, that it's time to get grounded, okay? You're the empress or the emperor, and... This perception of, I want to see what this perception is. Like this perception of something. It's like the way you perceive the situation, how you're viewing the situation. It's like it needs to go. That that part of the that part that part of the thought process process needs to be eliminated. Why is perception here? Chariot. Could be a cancer that you're dealing with. See, every time this person, this person always asking to come back. This person always begging to come back. This person always begging to come back, come back around. Mm-hmm. The lovers. And the nine of cups. Mm-hmm. Knight of Cups. They coming in with an apology. It's like a cycle. Like it's a cycle. I see this person always coming in with an apology and wanting to say that they want to move this, move things forward. It's like a cycle. Like they do the same shit all the time over and over and over again. Spirit is saying, look, you this is they done did it so many times. They done did this a million times. When is gonna be the last straw? They just don't got nowhere else to go. They just don't got nothing going for themselves. Okay. Their energy is real low. Like they real low vibration. I'm gonna just keep it real. Four of cups and the five of cups. I meant five of pentacles. They don't feel like they're worth anything. They don't have what it takes to be in this connection. Cause yeah, see, their goal is to find somebody who's who has something going. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Hermit could be dealing with a Virgo. Their intentions is to find somebody who has this Ten of Pentacles already. I'm seeing somebody like literally begging, don't leave, don't leave. We can figure it out. We can fix it. And then y'all get back together and this person does the same thing. Seven of Swords, Five of Swords. Like y'all get it together and this person do the same thing. Yes, like it's apology after apology after apology. How they sorry. How they want to work. And see, look at this. They hoping that this work out. They hope it work. Like, please let it work. Please let it work. Please let it work. Like, this person come in, they do this shit all the time. They trying to step, trying to keep you stuck. Trying to keep you trapped. Stick you with them. Hoping that you don't wake up to this. This person could be trying to isolate you from family and friends. So, other people's opinions won't um, affect you guys' connection. Yep. And see, I see, like, somebody saying that they're going to make changes. Okay, I'm going to make these changes. I'm going to make them. But if you got to force somebody to make some changes, that means they didn't really want to do it in the first place. A person needs to want to change, you know. Not just because, <laughs> just to keep something, some type of benefit or whatever. Like, it, it has to be wanted to change for it to stick, you know. So, that's the message that I got for you guys. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.